available and it was a brand new iPhone 12 Max. Hey, thank you. Um, so yeah, whenever we was done and over with, like I'm gonna need that and you you gonna have to run that back, you know, because I I bought it with no money down, so I just paid the taxes. I paid the taxes for like two hundred and twenty bucks. Hey, Liz. Yes, baby. Right. Hey, guys. Right. So yeah, uh, I needed that back, and he said that we could meet up, and that she wanted to keep her same phone number, but that I would be the only one who could release the phone number to her, or something like that, and um, so we could meet at the the T-Mobile store, and I was like, how mm-hmm. we gonna do that if y'all got a restraining order? <laughs> And then he never replied. So then this morning I said, so what's up? Like, are you going to answer me about the phone? Also, where are my things? Like, because I still don't know where my stuff is at this point. And um, he told me we could meet up at the storage unit. And he would just give me the phone and the keys to the storage unit. And I said, where is it? And then he sent me the address finally. Um, yeah, it wasn't no restraining order. I doubt that they would ever be approved for it, even if it wasn't on a right. Sunday when they tried to apply for a restraining order. I, there's no reason to have a restraining order against me. Well, I pissed on y'all porch. That's not vandalism. It's not a, It's not breaking any law, especially when it's my porch. And you live there. Yeah. Okay. Your porch is my porch. So, yeah, I pissed on my porch because I couldn't go inside to the toilet where I would have peed like a civilized human, you know, if I had been allowed. But I wasn't, so... There you go. Who got Mm. ooh ooh? So diamond crit. So y'all, okay. So you did you get the key? You you met up. You got the key, like you said. Okay, okay, everything went good. Yeah, Mm. I got the I got the phone right here. Okay, Um, good. Is it damaged or anything? It's in good condition. The phone the phone is perfect. Um, TK was super polite, and I asked him before he left. How am I supposed to get my mail? Because my mail is still going to be coming to the house. Like, I don't have no address to change it to. And he was like, uh, I mean, we, we can give it to you. I don't have no problem with you. And I said, oh, because it seemed like it when I wasn't allowed in the house to pee. But, okay, yeah. sure. Mm-hmm. You know, I don't know why he's trying to act like everything's cool now and we don't have no problems. But if that was the case, then why did you rush my shit out of there in less than 24 hours? Like, why couldn't you just let my shit chill? For a hot second, if we ain't got no problems, and he he's the one that made it like this, where we had to be enemies all of a sudden. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so um, hey Liz, hey baby, how you doing this evening? Good, Charlie. How are you? How I'm you? good. I'm good. So y'all know the controversial part of the interview um, that really, really picked up a lot of steam was when y'all was talking about the shit. <laughs> Everybody has been talking about it. And I'm pretty sure a lot of people really, really want to know. So Liz, clarify, because um, they're asking questions. They want to know, did you, you said you didn't shit, right? You didn't shit on him. He just wanted you to shit and you couldn't. Me, no. And it wasn't to make me feel more comfortable because he'll be like, oh, you could just fart, like push out because I never had it. But, um, <laughs> and then um, it, it was always like, oh, you're not going to shit on me or do this and that. So, it was, girl, you breaking up. Yeah, girl, you breaking up a little bit. <laughs> I'm at someone else's I think because you're close. No, oh, you may need to pick up your phone. No, somebody's just talking in the background. Oh, yeah, yeah, okay. A lot of people over here. She's at the studio right now. Okay. Hey, whoever you are in the back. You are in the back. Mm-hmm. Right, hey. Mm, I yeah, you got any head. headphones, Liz? Yeah, you got any headphones? I don't have headphones. I could go in the car. Okay, oh. maybe that'll be better. You think so? Go ahead and finish my video. You can finish my video. I'll get you Okay, you good now with it closer. Yeah, you good yeah. now, I guess. Okay. Uh, what were you saying? He wanted, um, it wasn't just to make me comfortable. He wanted to actually me to shit on him. And he got mad because I couldn't do it. <laughs> Why can't I be serious? Hold on, girl. Let me. Okay. Stop. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so, okay, y'all, I was just being petty because I knew that was going to make us laugh. So, um, how did you meet him? Because I meant to ask you that. So, can you tell me the background, like, when you first met TKO and how you got close to him? I met him on Bigo. 
And then the first night, he hit like 70 boxes or 30 boxes. It was, I guess, with Nature Boy, but I didn't see it. I caught the end of it. And then I texted, and I was like, oh, um, I like you. What's going on? Because I was just seeing if I could get him. And then by the third time, just talking, the next day he got my phone number through Vigo, and then the third time we met up. So people was making it seem like you were, like, obsessed with him, you were a huge fan, and you wanted to, is that true? Let them no. know. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. So y'all kind of met, like, the same way like, Yetta kind of met him. So through Bigo, y'all was just watching him, seeing his vibe or whatever. Correct. Okay. Period. So I, I didn't really meet TK like that. Um, what you mean? Um, I, I was at the first meet and greet in Atlanta. It was at the end of January. Oh, yeah. That's where I met TK. He came up to me and told me I was beautiful. Uh, tapped me on my shoulder and I was like, oh, huh, thank you. Are you on Beagle? He was like, yeah, I'm on Beagle right now. He showed me his phone. He was live. I was like, hey, y'all. And that was that. That was it. That was all. Then he went back to Vegas and I went back to L.A. And that's when we started seeing each other more on Beagle. Like I never would go watch his lives. I never even heard of him. I used to stay real far away from this petty side of Beagle. You know, all the tea and the drama and shit. Hell no, nah, because I come from Room 21, which is a roast group at oh, all, almost all. Almost all the big broadcasters on here come from that same group. Thank you. Oh, is that for me? Shit, I don't even know. Let me move this shit out of the way, though. Um, but anyway, uh, I never really would fuck with this side of Beagle at all. I'm just on my live singing my songs. It is what it is. Ain't no drama. Ain't no tea. And um, we started lining up with each other and um, PK style. And I started to find out more about him, that he was poly. Um, then I eventually Googled him and saw the pimp shit or whatever, but I had no idea who he was or anything like that. I never watched him on Bigo. He approached me in real life. That is how we met. Okay. So <clears throat> any of, I guess, okay. So this question would be for Liz then. So at what point, at what point did you feel, did you catch any feelings for him? Like, did you get, did you get in too deep or Oh, girl, get back in the camera. We want to know. I liked him. Oh, okay. So how long did you deal with him? I was with him. Oh, yeah, she got headphones, period. Okay. Can y'all hear me? Yeah, we can uh, hear okay. you. I was okay. saying, um, I liked him, but it, I wasn't in love with him like that. Okay. You wasn't in love with him? No. So where did it go wrong? Like, where did you, did you catch any red flags in the beginning? Um, just like, I think um, two weeks into talking and messing with him, he started doing the pimp and hoe panel. Because I was attracted to the spirituality stuff. And then I was like, I said, this is a bad look. He's like, oh, no, it's my past. And people wanted it. And then just little by little, I started seeing his demeanor change. So that, but when me and him meet, met up, it was never like that. Like, it was just intimate. <laughs> I work all day, so I'm not on here all day. So it was just. So you was just getting some, basically. Like, yeah. Period. As you said, sis, I don't yeah. feel like nothing wrong with that I'm shit. Not a fan of it. Was it good, though, if you don't mind me asking? Um, it wasn't good. I just <laughs> wanted it. I never had it in the back door, so that's what I wanted. I wanted to try it out. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, God. I'm smoking as I die. You just took me out when you said that. Okay, so yeah, though. Charlie, you gotta make my numbers even here. No, I'm about to. <clears throat> I gotta recharge. So, um, <clears throat> yeah, can you like say the same? Was it was it good or how was your experience with him? I mean, yeah, for the most part. Sometimes it was um, painful. I'm not going to lie. But, yeah. Painful. Painful as in what? Like, you was, was it anal or no? Mm hmm. Sometimes. Oh, oh my gosh. That sounds rough, girl. Thank you. That sounds rough. Uh <laughs> mm -hmm. Was it the same for you, Liz? You say it was anal for you too, or? Yeah, 
So uh -huh. that was y'all first time okay. taking it up there or no? For me, no. yes. Damn. Yeah. No. Oh, okay. So you experienced, so you know. Okay, so you kind of know how it goes then. Yeah. Okay, period. So Liz, <laughs> you didn't know how it went. So I, was it real tense for you? Um, The first and second time. Girl, he got you like, prison style. Like. Yeah, that's what I'm trying to <laughs> say. Like, and I'll get back into the tea what I found out. So, oh. what I know for sure. What you so, know, girl? I'll wait, till, I'll wait for the end. Like okay, y'all, run us up. Get us to 200K. <laughs> they about to, she about to spill some tea. Y'all, run us up. Be respectful. Run us up. No shade. Yeah. I know Vegas. I know everybody out here, so... Girl, oh, not you coming with the, with the teas. Um, where? But I'll first talk about us or whatever. Okay. Hi, China. Hey, China. Hey, hey China. y'all. What's up, boo? Nothing. Let me get somebody to load me up real quick. <laughs> All right. So, okay. So you said you was gonna finish saying like how y'all met, like. How did it go the first time? Like, spill that tea. We really want to get into the personal. Me? Like, yeah, take us from, I guess, yeah. beginning to So, wherever. when we were talking before the meetup, he was like, um, I like this, this, this. And from the back door, he would send me some um, pornos. And then he was like, but I like it dirty, dirty. And I was like, oh, okay. I'm thinking, like, right after work, let's do it. And he's like, no, I don't want you to shower for three days. And then he would tell me, oh, are you ready? Are you ready? And I was like, I can't be going to work like that. It was winter time, so I did it. And I washed up all the other parts besides that part. <laughs> and then when he met, we met up, did it in the back seat of my car in the park. And, um, yeah. He was licking on me, eating it, and vice versa. He went on all fours with his booty all up in the air. <laughs> and then, um, yeah. How do you rate it <laughs> on the scale of one to ten? A four. Y'all already know what type of night this is going to be. This is the key, y'all. Run us up respectfully. <laughs> yeah, the look at your face, girl. Look like you want to say something. Chime in, girl. What you got? <laughs> I'm just embarrassed for him hearing about this. Lord, if y'all want me to tell this story about the doodle, y'all gonna have to give me the five hundred k. I'm not even gonna lie. I'm not gonna spill. Run us up. I tell y'all in detail. <laughs> okay, but mm. season the purse, y'all. Season the purse. Head, so. I need to drink again. Come on, I'm trying to get on too. I pay. Right. I feel that's what. If you don't want to give me my money, I, I'll chase the clout. But it's not chasing the clout. You telling your story as exactly. you should. That's not clout chasing. Why do people think that's clout chasing? Y'all telling y'all story. Exactly. That's why I get mad. It's like, it's my point of view. I and they're trying to say the same thing about Yetta. They're saying y'all cloud chasing. I don't see, I don't see it. People want to know. I'm, I'm, I'm being thought right now, guys. It's, it's a difference. <laughs> it's a difference. We hustling. It is what, it, shit, that's the case. We all being thought and shit. I'm getting my bag. We all getting a bag. So, shit. Yeah. Run us up. We gonna pause. Run us up before we get to the T, y'all. Run us up. We can talk about something else if y'all want to while we wait. Or yeah, we can wait a little bit, y'all. China, what's going on? And what do you mean by back door, Liz? I'm sorry, that's what I wanted to know. Um, huh? I'm older from the app. The back door. <laughs> oh, girl, we don't know what it is. I ain't know what it is. There. Okay, that must be old school, girl. I swear yeah. I ain't know that. I, I thought know. you meant outside in the back, like the back door, girl. No. I'm not sure. How old are you, Charlie? I'm 24, girl. Oh, okay. you young as hell. You're a baby. Mm -hmm. yeah. What do you call it, Yetta? Isn't it the back door? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I guess I'm the only one that haven't heard that. China, you heard that? No, I never heard the back door. Yeah. Okay, I feel better now. Then. Yeah. Somebody said Duke shoot. TK, TK will like to say Duke shoot. Uh, I like to say Dookie Shooter too. 
Got you. I'm glad you're here trying to say we were supposed to do this. <laughs> yeah, we was, but um, I want to say um, that um, Liz, I talked to you when I wanted to hear your story. Yeah. I know what you've been through, and I kept it to myself. And um, but Yoda, I knew she wasn't gonna survive because she's an alpha female, <laughs> and alpha females normally would can never come to the concept of bowing down or submitting to a male, especially a weak male. But with that being said, I knew it wasn't gonna last long. I just sat back and waited. You know what I'm saying? Cash boo not in the queue. Oh I yeah. Think he did it just to they got what they wanted. You know that's why I kept. If Yetta could confirm, I would text her. I was like, girl, I got you. I got you. I got you. I didn't know she had friends out here, but I knew it was coming, yeah. too. But that's all they wanted. And now he's over here saying, oh, uh, I'm out in the open. I'm going to be blessed. No, you're not in, out in the open when you're tricking people into giving you their life savings or whatever and stating that you're trying to build with them. What are you building? Because I don't need knowledge. You know what I'm saying? So that's what people are missing. Like, he's selling these fake dreams. And his sister, even, I'm going to cancel her ass out, too. So I'm like, oh, yeah, we all give him. Then you guys give him all your life saving and help your brother that just got out of jail. His sister? Yeah. She, she was on here today. Oh, she be on Bigo? I didn't know. She was talking about a, she'll fight for her brother. Oh, yeah, know, she said she said some shit like uh, she was going to have to pull up with her with her. Her gun or sorry, I can't remember what words she used or whatever. And I, I started screen recording her ass. I want her to because we, we roll deep over here too. Yeah. Oh, somebody in the, in the comments says, shut up, Yetta. I guess I'll have to shut up now. Yetta, you're a free woman, man. You were right. And you are still free. So yes. I don't know what you're talking about. Y'all could exit. What us up, y'all? We're going to get to the team. Y'all thought about, like, hooking up, uh, hanging out? Y'all should link up. We should link up. We all should, like, low-key link up. That would be cute. A big old link up? I love Yetta. Um, I respected we that she was with them, so I was like, maybe that she doesn't can't talk to me or whatever. But oh, yeah, for sure. I was. was told not to talk to you. I was told yeah. not to talk to you. Thank Ooh. you. And really? Then, so y'all was pitted against each other? Day. He was telling, uh, he was writing me five page letters in the hotel when he was gone for that two weeks. And then he's telling Yetta and Armani that I'm over here texting him and what, he's not replying. When he yeah, I was like, so what do you say back? Time. I said, so what do you say back to her? He was like, I just don't respond. And then Liz shows me the fucking novels that he's saying back to her. Thank you. Um, he also told, they, he told me, oh, and just so you know, we don't trust Cash Boot. That's what he said. So I yeah, told Cash who that shit earlier two. on the line that we were on. Um, I was like, okay, like, damn, I guess we don't trust, we don't trust Cash. <laughs> like, what the fuck, you know? So, um, well, he does, mm -hmm. he does that so he could think you're trust. Well, that's my opinion. So you could get, oh, like, oh, I'm the special one. He, his game isn't even good. That's what that. Mm -hmm. He preaches a lot. Like on his live earlier, he was saying a whole bunch of nothing. I'm like, his fans were soaking that shit up, but some people were seeing right through it. I'm like, he's saying a whole bunch of nothing. He's preaching, but we know it's not coming from the right person. And I'm trying to wonder um, what spirituality or God he's talking about. Because it's it'd probably be the one's nature boy, because it's not our God, the true creator, when he's talking about. All he talks about is motivational skills and books. I read self help books. Like so it's right. people fall for that. Damn. I'm forty two years old. I'll be forty three in July. And you dealt with him for like a short period of time, Liz? How long was it? Um, January, like almost five months. Four months. And you said you didn't catch any feelings. It was just um, sexual. Oh yeah, my. it was sexual, and then, you know, when you're talking to someone every day, it, it was just like a a schedule. Not a schedule, but how, how do you say that? No, I didn't have emotional. It was like consistent? Yeah, like just talking to him every day. You were just used to him being in your life, yeah. yeah. Period. And I'm not going to lie, the excitement, I didn't know much about being going. I was like, oh, okay, he is doing stuff. 
And like I said, he was selling the dream like, oh, when I make it, we're going to get this, 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 this. And then later on, when the fourth or fifth time when I initiated the money part, then he started like, oh, you have money. And he saw 30000 in the bank. He was like, oh. and I was like, no, I can't spend that on you. I have to, I'm buying a house. And then it flipped like, oh, you could do that? So that's how I got his social and all that because I was helping him to build it up because him and Armani don't have credit. And, but he wanted me to get the mansion. I, Yetta, didn't I show you a nine-bedroom mansion? Yeah. For a million dollars. Um, I could have qualified for half a million. And then me and Yetta were supposed to buy into the house. Yeah. Damn. Yeah, that sounds like a scam. He definitely was going to get y'all. But Armani and him don't do nothing. So that's why I'm like, what are y'all bringing to the table? And I started pulling back. He loved to say stuff like, um, I'm the breadwinner. I'm the one making, you know, 24K. I'm doing this 30K a month. Okay, so where do I see your portion helping me? Because my portion ain't even helping me. Like, what the fuck? Build y'all up. Yeah, I, and then I, I would say stuff like, well, you know, I'm I'm like 20 dragons over you on your contributors list. And he's all like, that's the way it's supposed to be. You my woman is supposed to be like that. I was like, but why? Why can't it be the other way around? Why you can't give me more dragons than I give you? I don't understand. You the one making all this motherfucking money, right? So and he told me it's because he's the king of the kingdom. And then first we need to build up the king and then it'll trickle down. And eventually he'll have so much support and so much love that he'll be able to afford to give us way more than what we're receiving right now. You just got to wait, baby. It's not going to be on your terms. So, do y'all agree with the, like, the fans always say that um, TKO gets, like, compared to Nature Boy? Is it, like, the same gimmick, or is it a lot different? Yeah, and I'm wondering, does Brandon control and pull the strings? Because they're puppets. So. Oh, girl, mm -hmm. Ashley. Oh, I'm surprised Ashley ain't saying that. Oh, uh, say that again. I'm picking that up. Spiritual. What you say? What's the Ed, question you asked? Ed, the question Brandon again. Is the Give puppet. me admin, Charlie, because somebody up in there writing report my page. Um, I was saying, I think Brandon is the puppet master for them. Yeah, too. he is. He is. Yeah. I always tell Ben, I've been on Brandon five years. Brandon is the one that, um, yeah, he plays yeah. mind games with everybody, men, women. Well, sensitive and, men. And I'm not going to put Sensitive men. Trans, okay, listen. Brandon goes out to sensitive uh -huh. men, transsexual, and women. Okay? It's never a real man you're going to see hanging under Brandon or, flop, or flossing to Brandon's feet. But I did, I did, I was the one that originally interviewed the drip, well, Yetta and uh, TKO now. TKO portrayed it. I did the interview, and I'm going to tell you why, Yetta, because I'm an honest person. It wasn't so much because of the way what Chicago was saying. It was because I went to a nail shop one day, and my nail tech boyfriend is a pimp, and he has his girls, or whatever y'all call poly life. And one of the girls got beat up because she knew TKO and was telling me a lot of information. And it wasn't good. So, I knew about the career with the girl that was a singer and him sleeping with her friend and the STD and the different stuff like that. The old girl that used to stay with him, I knew about that. So, I asked him, what do he do about the careers? And when he was sitting there like, oh, I bring them and I ask them what they want to be. And if they want to be a nurse, I make them a nurse. And if they want to be this, I make them this. And if they want to be there, I make them there. I knew it was bullshit the whole time because I had been told by some real life people that knew him the whole gag. I knew he used to be overweight. I knew he had surgery. I knew everything. You know what I'm saying? But I just sat through the interview and I just seen <laughs> how, how long he was going to play in my face. Wow. He had surgery on what? Titties. On his, on his, he used to be a big boy. Did you, you never seen him? I saw him like when he got out of prison. The pictures of those. You talking about that? When he was big, big. When he was like almost three something, big titties, big belly, big old hard fat dude. No, I don't look think like H and I C in the coming. <laughs> no. I'm like H and I C. No wonder he calls me a uh, little whale. Oh, look, how can he speak on weight? Oh yeah, that's what I want to say. How can he talk about weight when when the money used to be fat along with itself? And they, you the know, way he they talked about surgery. me. Like that to me is like how a jealous bitch would talk about another bitch. <laughs> and none, but Yetta's not even big. She's thick. She's healthy. Like 
in my book, no, that's not big. Like, yeah, it, but but you know, we that's how he targets like, women. Like, oh, I want a BBW. Like, to tear you down? I, I don't get it. But that's what I felt spiritually, Brandon. And hey, it's a business hey, move, but I think what? they... Even the sister is like, oh, oh, your band? Go hit up Brandon. So, uh, and I've been hearing a bunch of women, like, I'm already speaking out to some. some everybody's fucking Brandon. And I'm with nobody, and I found that out. And trying to make babies and this and this and this. Like, it ain't my place, but he likes to, yeah, he likes to be in everybody's stuff. But that's another subject of. We could do on another panel. <laughs> now Liz waking it up, waking it up. All right, y'all, keep running. Run it up on us, y'all. The more you run it up on them, the more we're going to spill. The more they're going to spill. Run it up. But, um, so, yeah, I don't think, I think y'all serious, obviously. People said it's a storyline because y'all met up today. Um, yeah, the, I feel like y'all just being, you being an adult. Like, you prove that you're an adult every day. Like, how you dealt with the situation to me. Cause you could have did a lot more. How was I gonna get that phone back if I didn't meet up with him? Exactly. Um, how was I gonna get the key to the storage unit that my shit got put in if I didn't go get it from? Get your bag, Liz. Like, oh, thank you. Man. What? Of course we had to meet up. Thanks for the right. call back. Thank you. They said you would have made me proud of you would have shit it on his porch. I would have been a little bit more proud of you. I if I would have shit, he might have liked that. That's what I'm saying. I don't want to do that. <laughs> oh, damn. Oh, he likes shit. Oh. You didn't know? He he yeah. seen more yeah, uh, of the lady. More. He's more the wimp woman than y'all because y'all will be there and he'll get y'all in the front of the pose and he will push y'all out the way so he can be the spotlight. And another thing, he runs behind Low. I don't know because Low has um the other um female mother and father phone number and found out she was underage when CK met her house and told them that she was in danger or I don't know if we attracted to Low and when Low sees CKO she drops her balls out of her drawers, she bends over and show her ass. It's just weird to me and CKO sit there like it's nothing. That's his real you know, That's not usual and this happened on the panel in front of thousands of people last weekend. Him and Lowe is very into each other. I noticed that. And Lowe makes you respect TKO. TKO go first. TKO get extra privileges, beans. And I'm like, what the fuck? If y'all drop a dragon, I'll let y'all know what I heard. Okay, please let me know. Don't yes, y'all. Can y'all drop these dragons? I threw, like that I threw that dragon to my brother because I missed his stuff. I know. Please, thank you. I appreciate it. Y'all run us up, though, respectfully. Come on. Wow. I mean, I have noticed that um, he, he seems to never give up on Lo. He don't. No matter how much she betray him. And Lo don't give up neither. And when CKO went open that door or whatever happened, Lo cried tears and went crazy and went love over TKO. It's if TKO did her bad and she was like broke down and destroyed in tears. That's why she had been crying on live because she couldn't believe TKO let, let her come down there and did her like that. And I'm like, oh, it's something deeper going on. Damn, y'all did list the 300 case so she could talk. But um, anything else you want to say, Liz, before you get there? You almost there, Liz. Come on, you almost there. I'll wait. Why? Uh, you haven't lived with him. Why do I got all the tea? <laughs> I mean, you said you had some tea about law. We want to hear this word. Bro, you said you had the tea. TKL, not low. And yeah. But you'll probably answer that question. Oh, okay. Mm. Come on, y'all. Keep them okay. Yeah, y'all run this up. And they not chasing Carl because this their story. Yeah, this they story. Like they deserve they to be speak around on it. it right. It'll be a one sided story and not they side. So they can't chase Clyde off, Clyde off your own shit. Exactly. Y'all saying yeah, they're not saying anything. But when I do say something, y'all say you said that already. What questions do you have? Mm. Yeah. And for right. the person, I didn't do several interviews. Mm -hmm. I was caught off guard with yeah, Sam drama, you know, you know, and I told her I can't say everything. Wait till I'm a ho China. What did I tell you? When you become a host, you'll give me the interview. Yeah. 
Yeah, it was just smarter to do it when you were host so you could benefit from it. Because exactly. they benefiting off of you, so you know what I'm saying? So, period. Business move, yeah. You could think what y'all want to think. Respect the hustle. This app is made for that, for people to give, so. So. Y'all heard them. Run us up. Thanks, guys. And I'm going to let y'all up um, in a, later on to ask questions. So was the chains? The chains were fake. Like I, somebody sent in an Etsy screenshot. I meant to save it, but they sent me the oh, screenshot yeah. of the same exact chain, and it cost one hundred and fifty dollars. They're fake. What person do you know wearing a hundred thousand dollar chain stealing from innocent women? You got a bummy ass woman right there that can't do nothing. Damn. So where did y'all all fuck at, Liz? Like y'all fucked at the park, right? And what other? Park, at my job, uh, in a bathroom. Ooh, girl. Never in the house, and he likes cookies. Like, uh, yeah, he does. He, I got a hotel a couple of times, and he liked the sneaking around and the quickies. Like, oh, you said that's his fetish. <laughs> now nah, she went out. Damn. That was juicy, girl. Not they fuck. You said y'all fucked in the bathroom. He's not a hot hider. So he don't he don't make love to y'all. He just fuck y'all fast. Yeah, no, it's a quickie. Like that a don't sound fun. That sounds like he's just using y'all for a neck. It definitely wasn't like that for me every time. Oh, okay. He took his time with you. Mm-hmm. He made love to you. I would say yeah, like fifty percent of the time. Period. Sometimes it was fucking. Sometimes it was. Love making. <laughs> would you ever tell, like, would y'all ever tell him to stop? Like, was it ever too rough? Like, I wouldn't say stop, but like, wait, 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 wait. <laughs> <laughs> no, wait, wait, wait. <laughs> Poor Liz, you ain't 300K. There you go, girl. Okay. <laughs> we still want more and I'll drop it, but this has been confirmed. <laughs> And I won't say the name, but they took him in the back door in jail. Wait, what? He oh, had he sex in the way. jail. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what? He dropped the soap? That's what you're saying? Yeah. Oh, man. Man. What? It was voluntarily <laughs> took him. <laughs> That's why he goes on all fours. Guys, I don't know what you said. Wait, what did you say? He has fucked a man. And he's in jail. You can tell something started him because, listen, he don't like to sleep with y'all. He sleeps on the couch. He's very picky. Everything clean. He really for long. That should be weird. Um, It's just weird. It's just something. That happened to him. What he want to sleep alone, and I think he was attacked while he was asleep. Which you guys? I think that's what Wait, he sleeps alone? Like. I didn't know that. Y'all really? on the couch? Don't sleep in the bed with nobody. Hotel yeah. on the couch, but they sleep like yeah, this. Like he so y'all all sleep on the same? Y'all sleep in different rooms? Like explain that. Hold on. What? No, I said I wanted my own room. I, that was like a requirement for me. Damn. Okay, finish, finish, Liz. I'm sorry. Go ahead. Um, that was just what I knew confirmed. You can tell, and it's someone in jail still that confirmed this. Someone in jail? Oh my god. Yeah, I'll bring it out, but that was my one of my big bombs. So. <laughs> Would that person confirm, or are they nervous? Um, they just don't want to come to light, like. Oh, it was okay. hush hush, a quickie situation. Like how he does us, it was that. Have y'all got tested? Not to get y'all personal life, but since you know he's fluid and stuff, y'all got tested and stuff. Once I okay. found that out, I have. Period. Because not since before this relationship started, so. Somewhere. Because a lot of men, you know what I'm saying, that do make that would make me. I don't deal with a lot of bisexual men because they do a, they dirty, like they do a lot of dirty shit to me. 
You know, I'm not saying he is bi, but from what you're saying, Liz, I'm just speaking from your perspective. I'm not going to confirm that. Yeah, no, I have a question to ask. I want to ask y'all a question. When y'all, okay, y'all know how bad he talks about Nature Boy and Nature Boy, his woman being nasty. By him bringing Nature Boy into the home, y'all weren't scared to sleep with him after the fact or whatever. Because he claimed Nature Boy have all this stuff and do all this stuff. But he was yet open to have Nature Boy woman live with him. Oh, you mean a Terry? Yeah, yes. he claimed he didn't sleep with her. That they didn't sleep together. Good question. Cool. Did he tell you the same thing yet? No, I don't know. I didn't even ask. I didn't even know like all the tea, or I didn't even know who Nature Boy was. Like all of this shit. Yeah, been I didn't know. Me. And then Queen Op, he was about to fuck her, and I even told Yet, I was like, please talk to him. I'm not messing with. That's how I thought you knew we were messing around, yet yeah, on top of him coming and groping me when he told you and Armani, y'all pay attention and we talking business. Remember that? And we were looking at it, and then he started digging in my ass, and I was on <laughs> like, come on Oh, he now. digging booties. Oh. Yeah. He do. It was on his birthday. And like rubbing, and um, he likes to choke, but not like passing out. But he is very sensual. And it's not about his sex life. It's just if you like men and want to build and all that, or his sister said, okay, he wants music, then go hustle or get it from your family. Don't lie to people that you're building right. relationships. So it's not about his sex life. We're just tell I'm telling you my story. And for the next bitch that still is dropping beans and want to go fuck on him, y'all better be careful. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. You know, that's how people get AIDS. Mm-hmm. Mm, I already said it. In the first time, my friend's like, do they know you stuck your fingers in a booty? I know. When I was giving him head, I was pegging him. <laughs> huh? When you was giving him what? I'm sorry. Hey. It's videos of him getting his ass played, so that's not shocking. Oh, there's a video getting his ass played with. Yeah, and you know, from a gay man, that I mean, it does feel good at the same time. Like, you know yeah. what I'm saying? So that that's like a gay thing to me. But there's nothing wrong with that. But don't make me think you're straight and you're into women. I'm already accepting Polly. You know what I'm saying? And we're building. I had kids. I I have a 12 and a 16 year old. I'm not gonna bring them around you. And he's like, Oh no no, that's okay. Still get the mansion. And then who's gonna pay the rent? So you. So you ate his ass like every time? Was that like a no, requirement? Just once. He did it every time. Oh, okay. And you said you didn't like it the time you did it? Like um, by the third and the fourth time it wasn't. It was like, okay. Girl, tell and yet you said you did it once. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah, just one time for, for me. Once was enough. Girl. I'm gagging. Oh my gosh. Yeah, did he let you stick his fin- your fingers in his ass too? He never asked me to do that. I never did that. Uh, Would you if he had asked? Probably, but not with these nails on. I did it with these nails and they were longer. Did Everybody it stink? Did you sniff your fingers after? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> It smell like musty black man. Y'all know that. <laughs> but he cleaned. He didn't black man. Uh, he obviously knows how to clean back there. Yeah. The, um. TKO. It was something I was gonna ask you. Cause I know you was there the most. Um. Is he abusive? I, I'm gonna have to say yes to that. He threw a shake in my face. What you think? I'm talking with her money because she act like she is really scared of him. I'm sure there's been instances, and he's even said stuff like that where you know what he means. Okay. Damn, that was a good question. Because Armani do act like a, you know how like a dog that gets abused. One more question. How was it meeting Brandon Keith the person by you knowing his reputation from Facebook. Is he really cool in person? Yeah. Or what? 
Who yeah. idea was it for Brandon to put on the the thing on his head? That was Brandon's idea. <laughs> Look at our plum food. Damn. Did you find Brandon attractive when you seen him? I wouldn't say that. I mean, I already knew what Brandon looked like. I'm not going to say he was unattractive, but did I want to, like, fuck him or anything? No. I, I can look at a dude and know if I want to fuck him or not, you know? Do you think TKO want to fuck him? Because he breaks on everything Brandon did. From cars, to money, to clothes, to everything. I'm going to say no. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Going back on me. <laughs> <laughs> She's trying to get <laughs> she's trying to get the tea, honey. Ashley is crazy. Liz, did her connection go? I think she Y'all, if you want to hear the whole poop story, I said I gotta get to 500 k two and a half more dragons, and I'll tell y'all. Y'all come on. I'm a good storyteller now. <laughs> she says she gonna spill more tea. Run it up. <laughs> this shit is so Can I ask you one question? I am about to be messy. It ain't nothing deep. So I, I'm going to teach y'all 500k. Can we get out of 300k, please? And it's like y'all on the Gilead, please. Right, come on. When I was going to do y'all interview, and somebody suggested Ebony, and the money said no. TKO told her, be quiet. I told you about that. Wait, what? They was like, let Ebony do it. Don't let her do it. And and the money was like, no, she didn't want her to do it. And TKO was telling her, didn't I tell you about that? Let's drop. No, her phone probably died. <clears throat> or maybe it was um all of that nasty talk. Um, what do you right. mean? Where he was like, don't like pretty much telling her don't don't speak. Stop, don't stop. Yeah, stop stop saying it. She's like, I don't want her to do it. And he was like, uh uh-uh. uh, what I told you about that. He got on her basically for so making a maybe, comment. Because because maybe she don't like Eb, but she's not really allowed to say that because Eb and TKO are like you know allies in the family. It seems like. Yeah, because I know he don't either. But because of Brandon, he has to respect the game. Yeah, he. I don't think he likes a lot of people that he fuck with. You know, he never really liked Nature Boy. He don't like Shea Butter. But you see, they right back cool. Oh, they back just, cool? Uh-huh. The day, the day we the day we broke up, now all of a sudden, um, since they share a common enemy, seemed like. They but Shea like Butter cool. was going around doing all them interviews. Oh, that's why her yeah, big ass no, so And so baby, the nigga record. address out and exposed him. Yeah. Oh. Not Bruce Bruce, the comedian being fake. And call yeah. his mama. I mean, uh, her yeah, mama and everything. They made, they made up. Cool with her. Oh. Oh. They made up um, the PK staying him. Oh, she got a fat girl. I knew she was lying, yeah. yet. I've been knowing her for years. Let me get that out the way. And I just oh, yeah, her no, I heard. With it. Yeah, don't, girl, dead she right there. Weird. She she, weird. she she really wants yeah. you. I can tell you that now. She wants you more than CK out. <laughs> she was just trying to make sure you weren't in that thing, but it is what it is. Yeah, that rumor's been really going around. Like, like the, the, no, I'm telling you what she likes. She likes women, and she was in love with y'all. I'm telling you. And she was mad that they hooked up. Like, Shea Butter is a weird bitch. <laughs> Girl. <laughs> so, <laughs> y'all confirm do TKO wear contacts? I mean, well, I confirm that, but... That's I've the never seen him about. take his contacts out if they are contacts, but I will say they look like contacts, and I've looked at them dead in the eyes, and I'd be looking like, are these contacts? Yeah, I confirm. <laughs> do you pay are. her to tell a story? She, oh, oh, Pastor P said, how do you pay her to tell a story she told since she got left? Pastor P, you want to come up and, and ask her? Or? I don't mind. He can ask me. Do y'all mind, Pastor P, coming up to ask y'all that so y'all can proper, properly respond? What Pastor P, you want to come up? Do he want to come up? Oh, he in the queue. Yeah, hold on. Can we get out? No. Lord, Pastor P, I got some questions. Do you stand? Stand? Hello. What's up? What you, you, you say? Excuse me. You told me it was gonna be some tea over here, and I ain't go live because I can watch your show, and it ain't no tea over here. I ain't hating on your show. You the man, Charlie, in Jesus' name. But she ain't said shit. She haven't said nothing. She ain't already said in the last forty-eight hours, bro. No, I ain't hating her or nothing. But she getting paid for nothing now. She telling the same goddamn documentary. On God, as soon as she start talking, we can finish the sentence for her. You can ask her a question right now. I can answer that bitch. I promise you. 
in Jesus' name. She wasting our time. She getting paid off these beans, and I wouldn't give her a goddamn thing till I promise you. I promise you, I wouldn't give her a shit. She on her way on another vacation with another nigga fully paid all expenses. What the fuck we helping her for? There's somebody finna drop dick in her that's supposed to take care of all her responsibilities. You gotta quit helping them because they'll quit leaning on us when they get fucked up. When they get fucked up, they supposed to have family and bridges. They ain't burnt yet. They not supposed to get on the internet crying, begging, and asking for fucking cash apps. These are the facts. You're not a bad bitch. You broke as fuck. That nigga took all your money, bitch. Then you said you still had some money left, but you lied because he had to send you 300 to pay one of your overdrafts in your fucking account, bitch. I heard the whole story. Get your broke ass off this panel. Keep being the hoe that you are in Jesus' name. I love name. you too, Pastor P. Oh, my God. Oh, he love, y'all. So, do y'all, what's y'all issue? He's going in and out. I don't, nope. No, no, listen, look, we don't have no issue. I don't ever talk about this nigga. Like, I don't have no problem with him. It just seems like he has some type of, I don't know, weird ass. I'm going to tell you something about a woman. A mm -hmm. woman will play broke to get more out of a nigga. Not saying that that's the case. If you a woman and you let a nigga know you got some money, he ain't going to give you no money. If you let him know you don't have nothing and you tell him all this stuff going on, about to get cut off and stuff, he'll give you money. And when a nigga fuck over you, you want money in the end. And she didn't gave out too much not to play broke and try to get her money back. She got to do what she got to do to get it. Not saying that's the case. You know what I'm saying? But Pastor P um, and Yetta, uh, I think they before me, they come from room 21, um, like roasting and stuff. It's some shit like that, uh, Charlie. Oh, Pastor okay. had no problem with me when he was Keith back in the day. Uh, we ain't never had no issues. So oh, okay. Even though we come from room 21, there's still no reason for him to act like that. I don't know. It's just his thing. You know, I know he troll everybody or whatever. But he really act like he got big beef with me. So I would love to understand it. I don't know. You just you want to come up here and say why? Right. Like, Where did you go, Pastor? Like, we you wanted a whole like convert. Me. Like, this is a conversation. Don't. No, he didn't screw I mean, off. If you just here? don't like me, that, that's that's fine. I don't really care, you know, if you don't like me. A lot of people oh, like me. That's, that's okay. Don't push it out. Was he talking about me though? It was going in and out. I think he was talking about both of y'all, but really really yet. I don't got no beef with her. It ain't no beef, it's just that. I don't see none of y'all never going live when y'all see them motherfucking single moms that be struggling on here, that don't do ho shit, that ain't in poly relationships doing all this weird shit, giving all their money away. He made her pay to come. He told her she needed 20000 to even come. So why is we pacifying her? She didn't even have what he wanted. And she gave up everything she had. It's a motherfucker that's working their ass off on a 40K tier that need a motherfucking bean. Why is she getting it? What make her so important? She ain't got no fucking responsibilities but a fucking cat. She's on her way out of town with another nigga after crying for two days like her heart broke saying she really wanted a relationship to work. If she really wanted the relationship to work, she wouldn't be going out of town with Shad G to goddamn Puerto Rico. She on her way to Puerto Rico with Shad G to do some door deals with him. It don't make no sense. You're a hoe in real life. You a hoe. Only hoes do shit like that. Don't nobody should be giving you nothing. Nobody should give you shit. In All real right, life, turn. you shouldn't be respected for what you're doing. Uh, uh, you went out of town uh, uh, with a nigga uh, uh, you didn't uh, uh, know. Uh, uh, the first time you seen him, you were well, holding hands and kissing him. You had him not even to let him. The first time you seen him, you was holding hands, hands putting your tongue down his throat, trying to be number one. You always. Okay, I got to be fair. Hold on. Okay. So, I I don't see no problem with me going on vacation with anybody the fuck else. And I haven't been crying for the past two days either. All right. So don't be mad at me because I'm going to go on vacation now. I deserve gifts because I'm a quality broadcaster. I don't give a fuck how many goddamn kids you got. You might not deserve beans just because you got you got responsibilities and all I got is a cat. That's your whole yo, You made your bed. You got to sleep oh. in it. I'm sorry. I didn't get knocked up and have kids that I couldn't afford. All right. So don't don't do that to me. I get beans because I'm a singer. I'm an entertainer. I'm on here doing what Beagle Bitch is supposed to do. And that's get fans and get gifted. Now, if y'all want to hear me talk about a doodoo story that I didn't care to tell, you're going to need to give me that at 500K. And that ain't that ain't me begging for beans. That's me being smart as a businesswoman. Now, if y'all don't want to hear the story, I don't got to fucking tell it. Oh, okay, y'all heard her. Period. No payment. Okay, I'm the no. Huh? There you go. Y'all unmuted. Now listen, when you get through with that, 
you're not an entertainer. You didn't get no beans and nobody watched you until you became what we call Tokyo's TKO's booty. That no, is true. You got your That's a fucking See, I falsehood. can't talk. Now That's I can't talk. I can't talk. You a goddamn liar, talk. bruh. I can't talk over you. I have plenty of followers before this whole shit. Can you mute her again, please? Okay, hold on. I have a million followers. A thousand or two thousand people come watch me. You got everybody following you to add you to this. If you want to do, if you want to get in touch with me, follow me on Instagram. You make people follow you. You're not important. You're not. Bobby V, nobody with a contract got you to sing it. We can't hear you. When you get through, you won't hear crying about a nigga taking you up top and you're on your way out of town with another nigga already. We shouldn't give a fuck about what TKO did to you. You a real slut. You went live peeing outside, too. Why you talking about you can press charges and all this? How is you going out of town and happy about it when you just said you ain't want to get your clothes out of this house? You just didn't want to get your shit out of this house in real life because you are nothing as clout chasing ass, bopping ass bitch. In real life, you ain't got shit. You took all your shit and moved out of town with a nigga you didn't fucking know. And he charged you. Now you ain't got shit. You're homeless right now. On your way out of town, homeless as fuck. Listen to you. You don't have a place to stay. When your ass come back from out of town, bitch, you need a hotel room. Fuck is you talking about? Get a nigga to get you in the park. Woo, so, <clears throat> go ahead. Okay, I don't know what makes you think I am a broke ass bitch. I always have more money coming. People always ask me, what are you going to do if this situation doesn't work out? I'm going to be all right is what I said. I'm, I'm always going to make money. Money making Making money ain't no problem. So, yes, in a short ass amount of time, I gave him thousands of dollars, more than I've ever spent in one month, period. So, yeah, I'm broke right now, but not really, really. I got my Payoneer cashed to me to it hit my account this morning. So how much is that? Five grand. Boom. I got some money. Boom. Just that quick. Just that easy. And guess what? We're going to get paid again next month. And I got an agency. So how many thousands of dollars does it really take? And I've already looked at apartments today that are ready to move in today so all i gotta do is get approved today and then i'm gonna be in that bitch whenever i want to so don't worry about my vacation nigga i'm gonna be back i'm gonna be i'm gonna already have a place before that vacation don't be worried about you you jealous that somebody paying to take me to puerto rico sorry so past so you said you don't have no issue with her so the comments are saying you aggressive some people puerto rico costs three or four hundred to get to sis you're still in the united states stop you're not doing you ain't doing nothing fancy i did that in 2017 in jesus name done stop you brag about nothing everything you brag what you got right now let's let's do the facts on this bad bitch she don't got a job she got her little bigo agency she don't got a car she don't have transportation but she talking about tko rental she don't have a home address, but she pissing outside. In real life, this not a bad bitch. You're a bad bitch literally because you don't have shit. All you guys that thing between your legs, you sitting on. And that ain't worth nothing. That shit is on YouTube right now. That shit all over YouTube and all over the industry right now. But you want to be treated like a bad bitch, you're nothing. Everybody know you for sex capades. When you bring up Yetta, all they do is say you try to fuck your way to the top. You're not cute as you say. You have cute features, as in skin and hair. Your face look like a, a goddamn skull. A I'm dead skull with skin on it. Your head big as hell up here and get small. You not that bitch. You when you get through crying, you homeless. That's all I got. You're homeless. Oh my gosh! It I'll seems like y'all y'all got some smoke. Like I don't know. You hurt my feelings. I don't know what I'll ever do. However, will I survive? How can I go on with my life knowing that you feel this way about me? <laughs> I don't give a fuck what you think. You sound like a jealous ass bitch. You sound like a mean girl in high school. You sound like you wanna be me, my nigga. Oh, oh my gosh. Okay, let me try to unmute this panel. Let me I'm going to get up out y'all shit so y'all can finish y'all interview. Cause they going to say I started this chiller show. I just wish y'all do this for the motherfuckers that really be at home waiting on the nigga. This poly bitch went and tried Bye. to take over somebody's relationship. It didn't work and she got kicked out. Don't forget why you pacified her. She got smacked in Bye. her face with a milkshake Bye. and took her ass back there because she thought she was number one. She wouldn't be on this show if TKO didn't say you got to go. She is still okay, be there talking bye. about, I'm trying to get my money back. She only on this show because he kicked her out. If he let her back in the house, okay. she wouldn't bye, be here Pastor. today. All of this hate is coming from him really yeah. loving Armani and not her. She is sick okay, right bye. now. In Jesus' name. Shout out to Armani for taking you up top. In Jesus' name. Bye.
Hey, man, y'all have a nice night. Thank you. We Get your you credit too. cards back. Bye. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Okay, well, that went left. I thought y'all was working it out. He said he ain't had no issue. Then it but he left. obviously does have an issue. It's clear. Uh, he got mm-hmm. a lot of he got a lot of feelings about me. I don't have no feelings about you. It is. You, you kind of felt hit too a Why little bit, right? Uh, I didn't hear him. That's why I said, "Is he talking about me?" What did oh. I do? I don't even know. I'm over here existing as usual. That's where my haters come from. They be like, how that bitch over there so so confident in herself. I don't like that she like her so much. That bitch need to be towed down. She too she thinks she's so cute. I don't ever come on talking about some I'm the baddest bitch on Beagle. You think I'm cute, Pat. You don't even drink. Nobody say, Oh, you got cute features. You give nigga, you are a hater. The definition of a hater, you jealous ass little bitch. Oh, he, no, I remember what it was. He was talk. I think he was talking about not to be messy, but I think it was something about your body or something or what in it or something. Was I, am I tripping? I don't know what he said. Oh, yeah, I'm homeless. Y'all, everybody fucking knows that I just got put out uh, un- illegally, unlawful eviction. So, yeah, I'm homeless right now. So you think that's supposed to fucking hurt my feelings? We all know the backstory behind that. Okay, and you, I'm supposed to feel bad. Oh, I feel so bad. Oh, You're I'm homeless on your now. way out of t- Oh, shit. That's what he said in the comments. Girl, this is crazy. <laughs> oh my, it seemed like y'all had <laughs> some pressure. That's what I'm saying. Like, you think I'm supposed but, to feel bad or some shit? But we already know what happened. It did happen on live. So we do know that it was a situation you that you couldn't control. Yeah. <laughs> okay, girl. Jesus. Liz. You want to be me or be with me? One or the other. Liz, girl, am I frozen still? What you want to say, Liz, girl? What you got to say? Mm-hmm. Who, me? Yeah, girl, because that just went left. Yeah, ask your question. When Cash Blue said in the comments that somebody was on me, she shit don't want to come up. Who is she talking about? She's still saying it? Come up, Cash Blue. No, she said it earlier and it's still just stuck in my head. Oh, yeah, who was she talking about, y'all? Liz. Of uh, what? The meth. What do you, I said that. So, Armani said it out of her mouth. They take these diet pills, and it curved her appetite. Like she don't want to eat. They have more energy, and this and that. And I text Yetta. I said, cause they said they were all taking it, and I said it's prescribed diet pills, which everybody knows it's legal meth. I don't care what you say. That's the main component in meth. Meth is speed. I heard y'all didn't know what it is. It's not cocaine. It's speed. What the white people do. Right. So so let me say this. Not to cut y'all off because everybody keep coming in here telling me. Ebony fans keep coming in here telling me that Ebony's speaking on me. Bitch, we not. Girl, talking about when did I start doing interviews. Girl, look me up on YouTube. Bitch, I've been doing interviews for months, ho. Shut the fuck up. We ain't talking about you, Lee Ebony. Lee motherfucking Lee Andrea Johnson, the crackhead gospel singer, girl. We ain't speaking on you. You're mad because my numbers is higher than all your interviews, bitch. You ain't never had 7,000 views on an interview. Hmm. The most 5K. Shut Period. up. Period. And I'm going to see and make sure he get them, bitch. And let me say this. It's just like a stock market, bitch. One minute you up and next minute you down and you down tonight, bitch. So take it. Period. Okay, I'm sorry, y'all. Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> so the pills, y'all. Um, it's called Phentermine, and it's prescribed by like a diet doctor to help you lose weight because it, it suppresses your appetite. It makes your heart beat faster. It, it uh, increases the blood pressure. It gets the blood flowing, make you hot. It makes you um, not be able to sleep. I Ooh. did take those pills, and TK told me before I got there I was going to have to take those pills. <clears throat> um, we didn't do it every day, and I skipped a lot more days than they did. Um, but it didn't make me feel like how it makes them feel. They both be feeling like Superman on that shit. They say it like, oh, I feel great. I took a pill today. You know, and I never really felt it like that. To me, it just didn't make me hungry for like hours and hours and hours. And then I couldn't sleep. But I felt pretty much just regular as fuck otherwise. You know what I'm saying? So it, it worked for me. Yeah. I think the way that it's supposed but to. Were they prescribed to you, Yetta? Oh, my bad. No. Yeah. Were they prescribed to you or they were Armani's? Armani's. Or TK. Exactly. That is, as a nurse, that's against the law. You don't share your diet pills and all that. 
Right. And now, Cass Boo. Been on this for a long time. Hi, Charlie. Hi, Boo. Can you clarify hey, something? What did I don't Ashley... think it's really meth, y'all. Um, I'm uh, Casey listen. Mocha is taking those pills, too, I think. I didn't oh, say that. She already clarified it. Uh, I don't know who said I said that. Hey, Cash Boo. Say that. I, I guess she said no she pills. wanted to clarify that you was incorrect. No asking it wasn't me who said that. Okay. No, that's the I'm gonna go and get in my car. But Cash Boo, since you here, since you here, can you spill some tea? Like, what do you, what do you want to say? Like, what do you ask some input? And what we had to say. I don't have no input, Charlie. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get in my car, y'all. Okay. What, Liz? Okay, Liz, let me mute you. You got I'm a gonna... lot of background stuff going on, baby. We can't hear. Okay, Cash Boo, what did you. Okay, you just came up here to basically, you wanted to clear up. Oh, what yeah, Ashley I definitely want it clear. Yes, because I've seen everybody been texting me about a meth comment. I didn't make a meth comment at all. It was somebody else who said oh, that okay. in the comments. Oh, uh, okay. <laughs> Okay. All right, baby. Mwah. Dang. She's so low. I, I feel her, though. I respect her for being, you know what I'm saying? She's trying to be solid. But he ain't, never mind. Okay, he ain't so going to let her come back in the house. I don't know if she's being solid for you don't like her. Oh. And I'm being real. Yeah. Well, Okay. So yeah, you said you ain't spilling, you ain't spilling it till you get to 500 grand. Mhm. Mm what are you willing to spill right now? For where you at? I'm gonna need specific questions. I don't know what you mean. Like I should come up with. I, 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 I mean, you live did anything? Yeah, we got a lot of TV watchers. People don't want to come in on their real accounts. Okay, so did anything weird happen at the house? I mean, you lived with him. You, I feel like you got the dark. Like Liz said, you got the secrets. You know what I'm saying? Um. I've already, like I said, been saying a lot. <laughs> so, <laughs> I don't know. I only really got too many secrets. I'm pretty wide open. I'm an open okay, open. I'll let some people up to ask questions. Yeah. Okay, ready. so what is it about the shit you have to expose? You say when you get the 500K, it's from about some shit right. that you have to tell us. What is it about the they shit? Ask me, they're asking me if I ever shit on him, and I will tell the story if I get the 500K. <laughs> It's a story, y'all. Okay, I'm letting people up. Hold on. Folks, get, why y'all dropping? I had a question. What's up? Okay, well, y'all looking at like, the, I don't know if somebody said it um before I came or not. Um, Is this like a storyline? No. Um, Because, you know, the girls on Bigo do a lot. So maybe if you look at it as the money way, um, you know, you get more clout, TK gets more clout, everybody gets more clout if you know the storyline of you pissing on his house. Is it was this a premeditated thing or no? I not on my end. Now, do I think that they kind of premeditated it? Yes, I feel like they've, they've been trying to play me and figure out the best way to go ahead and just let me go because they got enough out of me at this point. I feel like they do this shit that, you mean angel that comes along and it is a scam and that shit is for real, for real. A scheme that they have worked out to a T. They'll never last oh. long. Girl, so you feel like our Martin is being forced to live there or no? No. You think it's not at all? Oh. Okay, so you just think, so they brought you into the house for a storyline to get what they wanted and it was just the plot all along. Oh, yeah. They was going to take my money and then create some type of re reason for me to, to leave. I think they've been making trying to make me pissed off enough to go to, for real, to be real. But this okay, time it wasn't really it wasn't my suggestion. It was it was an ultimatum that I was offered. And of course, I'm going to choose the one where I can make my escape because I've been thinking about getting the fuck out. You know what I'm saying? I just was trying to wait until maybe I could possibly get a little something out of the money that I've invested. So hi, Charlie. Yeah, I, I I was waiting my time, but okay. So I have a question. So, um, did you know about his sexual um his sex his open sexual uh assault charges? And how do you feel about that? I didn't know about that until after I already moved in, and I don't know. I feel like. A lot of guys go through um, things like that that might not be necessarily fair, but 
did it make me uncomfortable? Yeah. Because, he, okay, so that's one charge, but he has, like, a couple domestic, uh, domestic violence charges. It's not like it's just one charge or one incident. You know what I mean? Right. I didn't, I didn't do all my research as far as trying to figure out what all he's wrong he might have done. I'm a, I'm a type of bitch who sees the best in people and is... I'm, I'm just not naive that way my whole life. I'm not going to lie. So, um, yeah, I trust people. I always expect people to be the way I am. And uh, that's an, a rude awakening that I'm still getting to learn today that people are not going to operate the way I operate. Just because if they should doesn't mean they will, you know? Okay, right. But one, all right, one more question. So, with that being said, because he does have multiple um, domestic violence charges, and sexual assault charges he threw a milkshake in your face and i'm sorry you had to go through that but at the same time i think on your live you said that um like he would ask you something or whatever and he wasn't like i think somebody asked you about was he abusive to you you said no but he does like get in your face right i mean that's only happened Get in my face. I don't know. I don't, I know. I don't think he's ever really like yelled in my face like that or whatever. He's done it to But did you though. feel intimidated at any point? Yeah. Okay. I just want you to see the signs. You know what I mean? In the next relationship you get in. Because just because it's not like punching on you and shit, getting in your face is a part of abuse too. Throwing a milkshake on you is a part of fucking being abused. You know what I mean? Yeah. No, I, I totally agree with that. And right. that's the first time anybody's ever done anything like that to me, man or woman. Like, I never had nobody throw nothing on me like that. So, um, that shit was traumatizing. I'm not going to lie. And I told him that, too. Like, a couple of days after, I told him we was just me and him in the car. He was driving, and we were almost up to the house. And I was like, every time we come down the street like this, I think about Joe. You barreling down the street like you was going to hit me and Armani. And he was just like, huh. I'm like, yeah, that shit be coming back in flashes. And when we turn around the corner, coming home, that's what I think about is that shit. Like, that fucking image. Right. H1, um, do you have any questions for Liz or Yetta? Yes, I do have a question. I just want to know, uh, was he fucking all of y'all wrong, y'all booty and all kind of shit like that? Huh? Was he fucking y'all wrong? Yeah, we was in a relationship, so... I'm not. I'm not gonna lie and say we, we use a rubber every time. Okay. And then my second. What was my second question? I forgot my. We can't question. even hear you. Yeah, you sound a little low, but we heard that first question too. Um. Okay. Well. Um. Let me add the next person. Hey, what's going on, y'all? Um, what's up? Hello. I actually got two questions. Okay. Well, first of all. Um, Yada, I think you're a beautiful woman. Let's get get that out the way first and foremost. But with that being said, why would you degrade yourself and piss on somebody else's porch in public, not knowing who was all looking at you? Easy, easy right. question, easy answer. Um, I was pissed off, and he wasn't letting me in the house where I live. I told him, "All right, I'm going to piss on the porch." He closed the door and I pissed on the porch. Guess why? Because I had to fucking piss. Now, I would have gladly used the toilet had I let, been let into the house. And I don't give a fuck how many people are watching me. And I hold my phone like this and squat and piss. Now, he's the one that came out and showed my whole ass. I didn't show my whole ass on the live. And I'm not sorry about that shit. Would I do that shit again? Hell fucking yeah, I don't give a fuck. How nasty you think it is to piss on the porch? You should see the back porch. The whole backyard is covered in dog shit. They'll never pick up not a goddamn turd. But that's so, okay, you're a woman. In the back where nobody can see. Who gives a fuck if it's a little piss in the front for five minutes while in the back? Right, I piss this water. Okay, is number four, you trying to you all work. So what you trying to say? She no, to piss on yeah, I, okay. Okay, okay well, here's my... to do piss on herself, you want to in. No, 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 no. But if I looked at the video, I looked at the video just like couch. everybody else, right? Let, let me let me explain, right? She didn't make an issue about her her having to go into the bathroom or get into the house to piss. I told him her I was issue piss was on about the porch. her I issue was, was about her wanting porch, to get period. her stuff out. I told him I was gonna piss on the porch, bruh. Your issue was about wanting to get your stuff out. You didn't say it's anything about that. Like, okay, she did. She answered your question. Move on. You want something in. else, sir? Have a nice day. Okay, your question right, well, is stupid as fuck. Bye, Fukin. Bye, Fukin. Good night. Bye. 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 B
the dumbass question. Don't want to argue, motherfucker. You really? Like you Let's go. Fuck, hey, yeah. Shawty, what's your question with me? Oh, fine. Keep dying. Hello, everybody. I just wanted to know. Um, I heard the first time that you left TK. You know, I listened to your story and I listened to your comments. I listened to you say a lot of different things about him. And I was really rooting for you. I was, you know, Team Yetta. Didn't know you from Adam. But because of what you said and what I knew that he had done to you, I was <laughs> just out of curiosity, um, hearing pretty much the same thing from the first story. I'm, I just want to know, why did you go back? What made you go back to this type of man? After I came home the next morning, after he threw that shake in my face and I spent the night at the hotel with my friends, and I came home the next day to get my cat and also to wait for somebody to come help me unload that U-Haul into the storage. I decided to go downstairs and ask TK for $5,000 back because I didn't have no fucking money because that's the way he wanted it to be. You know what I'm saying? He wants you to be set up to not be able to leave, really, pretty much. So um, he refused to give it back to me and it started a whole conversation on how we were supposed to really be making this shit work and why we couldn't really make it work. And it was me, him, and Armani, and Armani was chiming in and shit. And... Ultimately, I stay because I do. I did want that to work. Not anymore, y'all. No, I just fucking slipped up. Don't get it twisted. I'm not going back. Mm -hmm. I did really want it to work. Like you said, you was rooting for me. I was rooting for us, too. Like, I was like, no, nah, it, it's cool. Everybody has flaws. You know, everybody has things that they need to work on. I need to be a little bit more accepting. I need to be patient. And I need to change things about me. All of that bullshit. You know what I'm saying? So I was like, well, we'll try it again. And also, I didn't want the headache. I didn't know where I was going to live. I was like, well, fuck, I don't really feel, do I feel like taking this shit? I moved 10 days ago into this place on March 18th. By March 28th, he throwing a shake in my face. But I'm like, damn, for real? I got to move all my shit again? Bruh, it was fucking annoying. Like, yeah, did I feel like doing that shit? Nah. So I chose to stay. Okay, and see okay. If I was this, gonna is, get. this is one. I'm sorry. Okay, I got a question for Yetta. I just want to say something. Yetta, uh, I don't like it how all like everybody was like to dogging you like when you peed on the property, like they make it okay for him to disrespect you. Like, mind you, these are the same people that made it okay. These are the same people that was bagging past the pee when he went to Nunu house just for him to be in a closet wearing Nunu wigs. I don't like how you did the, all you did was a black woman protecting yourself and they make it smell, like, oh I'm finna fight her. They're like, Why y'all giving this man a motherfucking pass for him disrespecting this woman, like showing her peeing and all that shit? Like, what the fuck? Like anything but Charlie girl, you doing your shit. You taking all these whole views. You are mother bigo, and I said what I said. And Pastor P stop wearing new wigs and actually keep whooping that bitch every ass. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I can't stand him. We crazy. Go ahead, Tucson. What's your question? Um. So yeah, I went. Hey Yada, how you doing, love? I'm good, Tucson. How are you? <laughs> oh great. Oh. Um, so, yeah, I was just chilling on my couch, you know what I'm watching some bullshit on TV, minding my business and shit. And I got a phone call, you know, uh, are you watching yet yeah, is live? You feel me? So I'm just uh, I just want to clarify everything that was said about me is. Uh, mm -hmm. So introduce yourself. Tell them, tell the people who you are. Yeah. Hey, y'all, I see some uh, some confused faces and such. I'm sorry. I can't cam up. I'm in the dark right now. Oh. Um, but I'm two tone. I'm uh um Yetta's very first host in our agency. Also a good friend of Yetta's for about shit like eight years or some shit. Um, and uh also I used to I used to date Yetta a long, long time ago. <laughs> Just to be clear, a long, long time ago, uh what, twenty fifteen or some shit? Fourteen? Something like that. Um twenty thirteen. Yeah, so no, 2014, yeah, 2014 was springtime. Yeah. Oh, so. okay. So the story so, is, y'all, when, whenever TKO thought he was spilling some tea or whatever, telling people that I went out to, to lunch with my ex, that's too tone. He was in town. I didn't even know he was in town until he was on his live and I went to go see and I was like, oh, I recognize him. Where you at? Vegas. He, he was like, I'm, um, I'm in Vegas. And I was like, I live in what? Oh, she got B-worded. Damn, somebody. Man, I just heard my question. I want to know who reported her, her, Ebony. They were saying yeah, Ebony was over here reporting. Ebony sit over there and reported. Y'all, spam the comments like <gasps> Bigo. This is for entertainment purposes only. Yeah. Ebony, I'ma change you like you change your wigs after we roasted you. Oh, 
I'm mad as fuck. <laughs> well, I can ask Liz a question. Well, after Damn. Pastor P say what he gotta say. I'm here. Oh, it's all good. I always go talk to you. Um, oh. I'm not dogging no woman, okay? I'm dogging what we call as a hoe. A TKO has, as we know him, since we know him, has been a pimp. We call him Polly now, but we know what he been doing. But nigga tell you he want 20 when you pull up, and he asks you for the money to the point where he presses you till you just give it to him, then you know what's going on. If you don't get to get your Bego checks, then you know what's going on. Stop crying. You was cool with it till you peed outside, bitch. You was willing to be the hoe that he was asked you to be. So stop crying. Stop pacifying her. That's not what women do The shit she did. Women don't give all they shit up and move with a nigga they don't know. And then don't want to move out when a nigga tell them she ain't shit, bitch, and I got somebody and fuck you and I took your money. The woman don't go off and run off after a nigga take $16,000 plus a whole bunch of dragons and still leave him in charge of her money while she spend cash app on his bitch phone bill. So fuck that bitch in real life. Nigga, I don't pacify these hoes. That's the truth. Y'all can get mad all the fuck y'all want to. That bitch is a hoe, period, and she's looking for clout. She's already finna start a new relationship. That's why she keeps saying, if I want to fuck somebody, I can fuck them right now if I want to. If I want to fuck somebody, I'm going to fuck them because she knows what she's finna do out of time with Shad G. She going wherever she can go because she's a hoe. That's what hoes do, bitch. Sit down, get your shit together, and then move like you want to when you want to, and don't worry about who go cash after you to pay your bills and shit because you fucked up, period. Fuck, and I don't want that bitch. I don't need no problem. Not the ex laughing. Oh, man. The ex no, who told curious, you laughing? Like, I'm just curious. And it, it, it ain't because I know her. She my friend or whatever. I'm just curious. Like, I've just been watching this shit being entertained. Oh, uh, yeah. You curious. Man. We can keep it real because we all players and we know the game. Boy, you done put your dick in Yetta before. Yetta got kicked out about you, bro. She left her poly relationship that she bro, loved about shit. you, my nigga. In that hotel laughing and Okay, hold on. Let me be fair. Y'all know I'm fair over here. First off, I was yet as high as paid. I was yet as high as paid host last month. So I came by for my motherfucking congratulation, uh, whatever the fuck, little bear shit or whatever, since I was in town. Bought her lunch while she gave it to me, nigga, and dropped her the fuck back off. Now, when I came through, I had no idea nigga was out of town or, 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 or wherever the fuck he was at, at a hotel or some shit. I didn't know that nigga was gone. I had full intention of meeting him and motherfucking Armani, nigga. I knew what the fuck it was when I came over to meet my agent who was in a relationship, nigga. So let's not sit here and, and, and flip the script, bro. It wasn't even, it wasn't even like that. Hold on, man. mute mute him, because it, it's so funny that we call these females a hoe, but can we call you a hoe and box number two? Because you fuck on bitches and leave bitches with kids and leave their kids to leave the mother to take their kids. This. Let me read you this porn ball real bitch, quick. You a hoe too. You always so Let me read this a motherfucking female. Just like Tupac say, bitch, you bashing a woman that gave birth to you, bitch. You the same thing TKO got going on, bitch. You calling her a hoe, but bitch, you got whole tendency just like the bitch, ho. You just got a dick, uh -huh. and you fuck these women, and leave these women mm -hmm. trying to raise your kids, bitch. You mm -hmm. better hope your son don't turn out to be mm -hmm. a faggot, ho. Just like your bitch ass. Why not? Bitch. What's wrong with faggots? You won. What's wrong with them? You won. What's wrong with you? Tell us what's wrong with you. Tell us what's wrong with you. Since you want him to be a faggot, what's wrong with you, nigga? Since you say a faggot, cause you ain't gay, you a faggot, cause you a messy nigga. The gays be chilling, you're a faggot, and you can't read me, nigga, cause you probably ain't got no kids, you broke ass bitch. But you're surely a fan, and fuck that bitch. Just like Brandon did, fuck that bitch. Just like Scout did, fuck that bitch. Just like Cuddy go do, fuck that bitch. Ain't no bitch go get on the internet and disrespect me and have a baby a month early after I gave her seven hundred to abort the motherfucker, then talk crazy about me, nigga. Fuck is wrong with you, Dixon? I see why your name Dixon, because you always own a dick. Your name backwards, bitch. Why don't you get you a life of education, some beans, and somebody that give a fuck about you, because I don't, or that bitch, or her baby, and when you get through being mad, you ain't helped her with shit yet. So you quit taking up for it. What's wrong with your mom and your daddy that got you like that, calling people faggots, and you walking around going to gay parades? Why you gay pride and calling people faggots? You disrespecting your okay, own mute community, that bitch. bitch. Mute Make that, that something. Dixie Make that ass bitch. We on the topic of Brandon, just like Brandon Keys. Fuck that bitch. Just like Ebony. Fuck that bitch. Just like Nunu. Fuck that bitch. Just like Ashley. Fuck that bitch. Oh, it's Ron. You know all them names, don't you? The same bitch you try to get clout off, bitch. They fuck with your money starting with Ebony and Nunu, bitch. You talking about a faggot, but you supposed to be so straight. You wearing motherfucking Nunu's wig, so let me tell you something. You so quick to bash a woman. 
But when a nigga step to your bull ball head ass bitch, you quiet as a church mouth. Pass a pee like I said, bitch. Make sure that your son don't follow in your footsteps. He don't end up in jail, and he damn sure don't end up putting a wig on his head like his father do. You talking about pussy this, pussy this, but the way you the way you bash women, it seems like you like watching niggas jack the fuck off. Yes, I'm a faggot, the same faggot that you trying to be like, ho. Fuck you and everything you stand for, bitch. Have some respect for the black queen that burped your black ass, ho. And you got so much respect for him that you turned into one. You turned into one. Don't make me get to read in you, boy, because I'll put your rights all the way in front of you, my nigga. You don't even know what the fuck you is today. You walking around standing up, pissing in urinals, making sure everybody call you a girl. So you need to shut the fuck up and get your shit together. You cannot read me, nigga. Period, nigga. You lucky I'm on this panel because I get aggressive and disrespectful with you. But when I get to the house, I'm going to talk about you today. My nigga, you and your alter ego that you got going on. It ain't shit you can say to me. You want to talk about money? You gonna have to get some. Don't wait till the checks come out. Don't wait till. Don't wait till the checks come out. Have it on you. Have it on you, bitch. We talking money. You ain't got none of that. We talk about you, my son being like me. My son do want to make seventy to a hundred thousand a month to sit on his couch for two hours a day, bitch. What you making? Agency or host account? Let's talk about that. Did we say five bedroom house? Did we say happy as fuck with a fiance and his kids upstairs? Well, let's talk about it. The gay nigga doing good as fuck over here. What that faggot doing in box five though, bitch? You live with somebody. That part. Ooh. Okay. Okay, so I, I want to say something. Um, when it comes to the ebony part, she's over there trying to finesse her people out of two hundred dollar iPhone SE Miss Cash sheet that tells everybody they broke and get their beans up, and they the brokest bitches on the motherfucking app, and she's rich. She's trying to finesse money for her daughter iPhone SE. So with that being said, I think she needs to be disrespected and read every motherfucking five minutes. Because it's a shame you could throw dragons all over the nation of Bigo, but you can't buy your child an iPhone SE, and I'm just being real. Not an iPhone SE. Okay, yeah. hold on, Charlie. Be fair, Charlie. Mute your panel. Mute your panel, Charlie. Let me get my... Okay, don't yell. Don't yell, because they said Ebony trying to get us out. Bro, that big black ball of butter, Bill, bitch, Ebony with the motherfucking party, silly. How, how you doing ass wins, girl? She out there scamming her kids for an iPhone, bitch. Why number two, number two flashing money, and he can't even buy new new some motherfucking pampers for her baby that he got by her. Oh Pass a P, girl. Buy all that money that you got. You cannot take care of your kids besides the one son that you have, bitch. Let me tell you something. You look pale in the face. You look Frank style. You like fucking on old bitches like Joe Biden in the kneecap. <laughs> that's falling the fuck down, bitch. We are two <laughs> different type of people, bitch. I may be a faggot, but I know how to respect a woman. You don't know how to respect pussy. You know how to fuck pussy and leave pussy straight. When you get a bitch motherfucking pregnant, you are so quick to disrespect Yetta. Yet you call it her a hoe, but you got whole tendencies, bitch. We are two different people. You hood toilet paper roll built up ass faggot. You could never read me, bitch. Read the child support manual off of Mari, bitch, and be a father. Take your son to camp and all that shit. You premature off of power, dick pump, and ass bitch. And stop running around big body bitches like Ebony, ho. Trying to fuck a well birth to build bitch. He damn they ain't gonna make the show about him. Girl, yeah. get your hairline and y'all get him to a meal. Oh, Abdul, the hard looking ass yeah. bitch. Now you won, bro. You won. You won. So you y'all done? Okay. Jesus. You won. Oh my gosh, that went left. Look, Ebony is reporting, y'all. So you won. Ebony was oh, reporting you? before y'all came over here. Ebony was talking about Charlie. You, you don't do interviews, Ashley. What the fuck is you doing on the panel? You just that's so crazy. weird. La, I do la, do la, interviews. La, la. I do she can't interviews. do her live because she watching this one. Just because Ebony mad because her views is probably tanking right now because all the views is over here and that's respectfully. We've been doing this for, this is part two. Part one, we have views. Part two, I mean, it's, it is what it is. Now, this is like our fourth interview. Right, I always go, if the receipts is on YouTube. We always do Let, interviews. Let me say something real quick, bro. I don't hate yet. I kicked yet huh? out of my groups and shit when she kicked me out alive. I didn't hate her. I don't like TKO for sure. And I don't like Yetta because she was letting TKO do that. And she was dogging me for not liking TKO. Her bitch with me was because I ain't like her dude. I ain't like Yetta because she was being a hoe to a hoe ass nigga. If you is going to be a hoe, you got to at least be with somebody that's supposed to protect you. You got a nigga that can't protect you or provide for you. That's who you hoeing for. You hoeing for a nigga, you got to pay 
every every everything and he ain't financing you he ain't getting your hair done your nails done he ain't doing none of that shit so he's not really doing what he's supposed to do then he's saying he, y'all poly which means i love all my girlfriends but he got y'all for sale he got y'all for advertisement if a nigga come with the right coin so i don't understand that you mad at me for not giving you the respect that tko not giving you y'all crazy as fuck he just walked on